Hola from Peru. With over 260 different biomes found here in Peru, the amount of biodiversity is mind-boggling and it's so beautiful to see the people keeping the knowledge alive and using it. Here in the heart of the Incan Empire, I feel so blessed to be and I'd like to share some of the experiences and the knowledge that I'm learning while I'm here. So let's take a little trip. My name is Freddy Muñoz. One, I am work like the, I working like the like the guy in Inca Tribe like the ten years. I feel really proud to working for that kind of sustainable company because that is the point to improve, protect, preserve, and teach or just tell the tourists to appreciate about the things that we have. Usually, which one I try to tell about my, my culture is respect. Respect so much about the Pachamama. I think something like the Algor. We start to talking about the problems of, of, of the world, not the global warming. It's the time to, to respect the nature. It's the time maybe to appreciate the things that we have, like the, like the flower, like the plants and also the water, which one is so sad. We see every day is dying and dying, and many things we get in pollute. That way I would like to tell people who's gonna see me maybe with the time, just to say it's better to respect, it's better to appreciate the things that we have. Something like my mother tell me, we never know, and, uh, sorry, we never appreciate until it's gone. That means it's the time to appreciate the things. It's time to to protect the green life. Mm -hmm. There's so many cool plants here on the Inca Trail, but one that most folks recognize that we find even out here is the good old dandelion. I saw women selling this at the marketplace, selling the roots and the leaves right now. Wild strawberries. <laughs> Some stinging nettle. Do you use these plants in your own life? Uh, look at, um, I used to be, I came for the one family. My family, they came from the Sacred Valley. My mother came from, 300 kilometers far away, Cusco. They used to be to cure me with the native plants. I am here in the, my mother's store. Um, Teresa and my father, Paulino, they were working before. Since I was born, I know the coca leaf. I grew up with the coca leaf. I think about coca leaf, it was the big appreciation in the Andes. Mm -hmm. Especially now the Andean healers, mm -hmm. uh, or which one we call the shaman, mm -hmm. they have to buy. They have to buy and try to find out best coca leaf like this. At least they take like three leaves, which one represent the trilogy, like the condor, puma, snake, love, knowledge, and work, or just they try to represent about the three apples, which one we're talking about the Ausangati, Salcantay, and Veronica, the Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, really important for the Incas. Mm -hmm. That way, uh, the coca have the special, mm -hmm. secret things for the Inca civilization. Uh, we are right now in the central market, mm -hmm. the place that we're gonna see the different kind of plants, mm -hmm. which were mostly the Andean people, they used to cure by themselves. Especialmente para bajar la fiebre. Cuando los niños están con fiebre, algo así, 
para ya. bajar la fiebre. Después otro. Ah, es desinflamante para lavados íntimos, para baños. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, Malva, as well as uh, from the Andes, it's good uh, for the fever. Mm -hmm. Fever usually you have to take in the infusion. Mm -hmm. As well, it's good to clean the for the women. Yeah. Usually just to clean the, the intimate part. Right. <laughs> Sorry with my Spanglish, <laughs> but Malva, uh -huh. we have a lot of food, yeah? does, does she eat it? Because we eat a lot no, of no, it. No, no, in... no. Uh, uh, usually you have to 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 boil this one. Um, one moment, let me to make sure. Yeah, ask. Mami, ¿el verde se ha servido o el...? Reposado, no, se hace oh. reposar nomás. Look at here. There are one things. Mm -hmm. Always the green plant. Mm -hmm. You have only to uh, to leave after you boil the water, like the infusion. Mm -hmm. But the wood color, or wood, you have to cook right. in the water. No, that way. That is the difference. This one, mm -hmm. the after you boil the water, pour it. But the the wood, you have to boil. Just in the beginning, put all the stuff and boil, mm -hmm. and cook at least maybe for half an hour to get it all the prepare uh, preparities of the mm -hmm. of the plant. Mm -hmm. uh, Muña is one of the really important plant, which one the Incas they used a long time ago. First one to mummify the dead people. Mm -hmm. At least they take it, they squeeze all the liquid. Mm -hmm. uh, after they they use the liquid just to mummify the bodies. Mm -hmm. Still in the Andes, we use like the insecticide. That means we have the fresh potatoes, we cover up with all the hair mm -hmm. and keep away mm -hmm. all the warm. Mm -hmm. Keep away all the warm. Mm -hmm. Also, you can use like the spice in the soup. But the most important things, like the, the lady said, uh, is. Um, ¿Para qué lo has dicho, mami? Uh, good for the stomach cramp. Stomach cramp and also for the kidney. Muña or the mento, typical from the Andes. Uh, good as well for the altitude sickness. Para aumentar la leche a las señoras. Oh, sí? Sí. <laughs> yeah. no tiene leche, a veces hay señoras. Sí, claro. Uh, enojo. Like we, we heard before, mm -hmm. uh, most of the Romans who got a baby mm -hmm. and they tried to take a lot of milk to feed them really well the babies because usually they like to take babies really strong that way they give it, they drink it because in the milk and provide so much milk for the babies. Well, the name is Inojo. 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 And do, do she, does she eat it as well? Lo usted lo come así directo. You can make salad with this one. Now I am completely, completely excited just to learn, especially to know you, because you give me like the like the big point, no, to to learn more. Because I never seen one person like you start to talking me about the plant. This is good for this one. That way, I think with the time I'm gonna learn more to say is to to everybody. Please, it's something nice to to respect respect the things that we have. Uh, respect the Pachamama, the Mother Earth. Uh, protect the water. Don't make pollution because uh, which one, one what we need now is I think protect the, the world mm -hmm.